I got something special today. I got a Kindle right here. It, I think it, this is the fifth or fourth gen. What's kind of weird about this is um, I've looked like so much online of what this is. According to the model number, this is like a Kindle fourth gen like black edition or something like that. But the only thing is, is the black edition doesn't look like this. So the original fourth edition is essentially like this exact same chassis with the same button layout. It's a gray instead of a black and then it had black text. And it wasn't like a silver like this text right here. The black edition of the fourth one was black with that gray kind of body. Doesn't matter anyways because it still works fine but I just find that a little bit interesting how it says it's a fourth gen but it does not look like a fourth gen. I picked this up at a local archival store. I guess you could call it an archival store. It was more like a record store but they sell like you know electronics and stuff like that. I picked this up for 30 bucks. They're selling about 50, 60 dollars right now, which is that's that's a pretty good deal if you ask me. If you press the power button, excuse me, not the keyboard button. See it updates and we can unlock. There you go, after unlocks, got the pipe open here, but doesn't matter either way. It just goes right back to where you had it before. You can see we have our menu right here. And you can also just go home. And there you go. Yeah, it basically will just show you a list of all of your books. Now, if you notice, you kind of have like these little categories right here. They're in bold. These are called collections. Essentially, you can gather up a whole bunch of books that you want. And you can put them in a collection. So, that way, if you're reading like a book series or something... You want to put your books in categories you can set them up like that and you can see uh for some reason whoever owned this last left lord of the rings on here i literally wiped the entire thing and put my amazon account on here and for some reason it still just gives me lord of the rings i don't know what's going on i guess it's just tied to this kindle i go to uh this one you can see i have almost all of the warrior books because it's just an example when I use it. You can see if I open it. It actually brings you to what you think is the best page to start on. So this usually brings you to the map. So I'll, I'll go to uh, a different book. You can see it opens up to the maps. It's a little bit hard to read because, you know, this is a very small screen. But yeah, it's that easy. Something I really like is you can also search so let's say like I had the Bible up in here if I want to go to a specific book so let's say I want to go to John click that take a little bit to search and you should see right in this book location page 19 you have your little chapters there and then you can just go to Whichever chapter you want. I'll say I want to go to six. Follow the link. Brings you right to it. I really like that because it just makes it a lot easier to look around. Especially since it's just how many pages are in something like a Bible. It will take forever for you to get to a certain page. Something else I find very interesting is there's public notes. Let's say... You can go down here and you can see a few popular highlights. See right here, it brings you a whole bunch of different pages that people commonly highlight in the book. So we'll go to page 8. You can see right here where uh, it's talking about, it looks like he's, it's talking about him being inside the kitchen. What I find interesting too, is it also has kind of like, um, like a dictionary kind of thing here. You can see lift from lifting collar it, like it, it looks up all the different dictionary stuff which i find very interesting you can go to a full definition too it's probably going to take a little bit yeah there we go and see bam a dictionary and it includes a dictionary on here automatically like there's a lot of stuff you can do with this which is like you'd think that using a kindle for 
reading would have the disadvantages because you can't highlight and you can't mark stuff that you probably normally do or you know you can you can't take notes you can do all of that on this thing i will say that i feel like this is not a good kindle for taking notes preferably i like this one in the case of like you want to read books only these are really good I don't really like the touchscreen Kindles. The earlier Kindles, I think I'm thinking of the right earlier Kindles. I think some earlier Kindles do have a physical keyboard attached to it. Or I might be thinking of a Sony e-reader. But by far the most interesting thing you can do on this is there is a web browser. You go down to experimental, and there's a web browser. It only really half works. You can see I tried uh, I tried searching myself, like my, the video I made earlier on the ten dollar family clone. Doesn't really show up in the algorithm. Looks like so. I guess I'm still unlucky when it comes to the YouTube algorithm. But you can see it does work. I can search stuff on Google. I mean, if I try to if I try to click this, it's just not gonna load. I can tell you that for a fact. It's gonna partially load, you get this bar, and then it just doesn't work after that. Yep. Let's try going to Roblox. It's just a stupid thing to go to, but let's try going to it. I don't think it loaded the link though. Oh. Huh. Yeah, it looks like it's too outdated. It won't establish a connection with it. Also, interestingly enough, you can send any sort of like EPUBs, uh, any sort of Kindle formatted books, um, stuff like that, documents. You can send it to your Kindle and download it to your Kindle. And uh, Amazon will provide you like a Kindle email that you just send it to and it should come up in your archived items. Overall, this is still very usable. The only thing that just does not work on this is the Kindle store. If I go to the Kindle store, it'll just say that it's no longer available. So you need to just go to a laptop and um, go to the Kindle store, get something on the Kindle store, and it'll show up in your library. You just have to go down, just have to hit sync, check for items, it'll check. And it will add anything new to your archived items for you to download. And I mean, I guess if you liked browsing through the Kindle store on the Kindle itself, you know, it sucks. But personally for me, I'd rather not try to browse a Kindle store on a Kindle, the Kindle itself. I'd rather just be on my laptop and sync it like this. So this setup works just perfectly fine for me. You probably noticed when I had my little lock screen open here it has you know i think this is kai's kindle and it has a little picture here that i drew you cannot do this on a stock kindle normally if you have uh, an ad kindle it will show up like an ad on this page it will also show like because it's just how old this is and the ads just don't work with it anymore it will just show up as a uh kind of just girl looking through a telescope saying you know ready to find your new book or read your next book or something like that sadly this did have ads on it so i had to pay twenty dollars so in the end i did pay you know the actual normal amount for this but honestly i still think it was pretty worth it for this it was a very very interesting thing i found in just you know random store and i probably would never have picked one up if i didn't think to when i saw it in a store so I still think it was a nice thing to find it. You cannot do this on a stock Kindle. I had to hack this, which it's not particularly difficult, but it is kind of just a time consuming process because you have to restart this thing just so many times. But once it's on there, the lock screen hack works pretty good. Like all you have to do is just hook up your Kindle. You go into the file system of your Kindle. There's just like a folder where you drop your wallpapers in, you drop them in and then that's it so you may have noticed that this is not actually the native font that they have on a kindle and that's because i have a font mod also installed on this both of them work just 
flawlessly. Just had to deal with them once, and never had to deal with them again. The device just works perfectly fine. However, I will say that the fonts for um, the menu can be very, very glitchy. So I just honestly don't recommend messing with them. However, I do have it so the um, reading font is set to Courier New, because I like Courier New. And yeah, it looks very great. It's very nice to read on. But the menu fonts, I tried setting it to the font that I have for the little Kai's Kindle thing. It's called a Seto font. I had that set and the entire thing was bugging out like crazy. It, it, it did not like it. And I also tried using um, Arial font, specifically Arial rounded font. That didn't work either. I tried like a whole bunch of different fonts. I even once again tried Courier New. Didn't work. The only thing that would work is the default just font that they usually use on the Kindle. All in all, if you can find these for a pretty decent price and don't mind looking on the Kindle store through your laptop and then syncing to this, I still think these hold their price in 2023. They're still very much worth it. I mean, they're not really far off from modern Kindles. In fact, I've heard from a lot of people that modern Kindles are very locked up nowadays and not really worth the price anymore, especially just because the lowest model is just a paperweight. And I don't really like paperweights personally. They're just very iffy to work with. I mean, sure, you can get a fire, but you need a display is a lot better for usually when you're doing reading. But yeah, they're very decent. And that mostly concludes this. Don't really have much else to say. I mean, guess I'll catch you around for the next one.